Welcome to Web API Tutorials Part 2. Previously, we have seen how the Web API got introduced in the market. Coming to this video, in this video, we are going to discuss about how are we going to build Web API and how is it being consumed by the other platforms or applications. Okay. So, till now, we have discussed about the SOAP applications. SOAP applications will have uh, WSDL or proxy meaning instructions. Using these instructions, we are going to serialize our .NET into XML. Okay. So then the other parties like um, Java application or uh, Angular or React applications or Python applications can use this using the same instructions but coming to our web api services we are going to build so we are building this using a rest rest implementation okay so rest is a representational state transfer so representational state transfer meaning so whatever data we have we are going to send it as it is to the service meaning we are not going to do any serialization or deserialization so whatever the data we have, suppose if we have a XML data with us, okay, so we are directly going to send that data to Java or Angular or other Python applications. Okay, so in this case, we are not required WSDL anymore. So in place of XML, we can also use the JSON. JSON is nothing but javascript object notation so these days people are using json over the xml because json is lightweight compared to xml so in xml if you look at the structure of the xml if you want to represent a first name or last name any tag we need to mention opening tag and ending tag in xml but coming to the json we need to mention it only one time as a parameter name so coming to XML, we need to open and first name and we need to write a first name like a Venkat. Then we need to put a closing tag first name. So additionally, we are put, we are have uh, maintaining memory for this all closing tags in XML. Coming to the JSON, all these opening closing tags are not there in JSON format. JSON will have only parameter name and value. So that's how JSON became lightweight compared to XML. That's where people are going for JSON these days compared to XML. So recent days you can see all the applications are working with JSON only. Okay. So in this um, REST implementation, we are not needed any proxy or WSDL. So we are going to transfer the data directly to the consuming parties. Okay. Yeah. For more videos like this, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.